What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So if you're here because we've been rebuilding the Impala and you want to see the next steps, uh, welcome. If you're here brand new, just trying to change the oil in your uh, 2012 or whatever year um, Chevy Impala, welcome as well. We're going to go ahead and change the oil on this 3.6 liter um, Chevy Impala today. Um, should be a quick video, pretty straightforward process. Going to show you how to do everything so you can do it on your own. Guys, if you're interested in cars and doing things yourself, be sure to subscribe down below. Really appreciate it. You'll get the, all the updates moving forward. Um, without further ado, though, let's go ahead and jump into the oil change. guys we got the car up on some ramps and just starting out here pointing out a few things got your oil dipstick right here check your oil level um, this is the uh, the v6 3.6 liter um, got your oil fill right here which takes 5w30 full synthetic and then you have your oil filter right down there which is actually really nice um, makes it easy to get to and you're not going to get oil all over yourself when you're taking it off but uh it does make a little bit of mess top side so uh, it's the only downside there, but yeah, so let's go ahead and drain the oil and uh, then do the filter and then fill her up. So, first step drain the oil. All right, guys, just broke her loose. Pro tip um, yeah, I can spin that with my fingers right now, so that's where the drain is. Uh, pro tip though, if I get this socket off of here, so if the bolt is rounded off like it was on this 100,000 mile Chevy Impala. Get yourself a six point socket. And the only thing I could get in there with was a three eighths inch uh, socket and breaker bar. Half inch wouldn't fit. Get yourself a six point because if you use a 12 point or anything larger, um, you may just continue to round off that bolt and you'll never even get it loose. So use a six point, get it on there with a hammer if you have to or push it on and then get your, uh, you know, whatever kind of socket wrench can get in there and like a breaker bar and break it loose. Don't just start turning it with a wrench like you can see my pile of tools here that i tried with um don't start doing that you'll just round it off and you'll never get it off so pro tip guys but anyway let's go ahead and drain the oil see this but next we can get the oil filler out of here which is this blue thing down in here hopefully you can sort of see that yeah so we're gonna grab hold and hopefully it comes off by hand if not we'll have to get out the uh, tools it looks like she's moving All righty, guys, and for your new filter, make sure I'm going to get some on my finger. Let's get a little oil on your finger. Just go around the gasket here and just get that coated up real nice. So that way it makes a nice seal whenever you tighten back up by hand. No wrenches. There's no need to drive it home, guys, as long as that rubber gasket is getting crushed. You're good to go. All right, filter's in there nice and tight. All right, guys, now everything's drained. You can see we got a little bit, a little bit of pee in there, but we're gonna, we're gonna call it. So I'm gonna get the uh, drain plug and just put that back in. Right, and then get your wrench guys and just make her nice and snug I'm not winning any awards here I'm gonna make it nice and easy for the next guy so you don't have to use five different wrenches I'm trying to get it off like I just did so I'm just gonna give it a one 
two, three, with one hand is what I usually do. Make sure it's sealed and we're good to go. That's all you need. Alrighty guys, and this thing takes uh, about six quarts of 5W30 full synthetic. So we're gonna go ahead and put five in, uh, let her off the ramps, check the level, make sure there's no leaks, and then we'll go ahead and top it off with, uh, with one more as we will probably need it. guys so had to run for a second go ahead and check the oil level again first time you pull it out always just give it a clean wipe down take a look at what we're working with here and we've got a uh, yeah, camera is not focusing there but we've got a little section you can see there where the oil should be put it back in And you see it looks like we're just a little bit low there. Go ahead and put that sixth cord in, which it's supposed to take anyway. And uh, we should be right in line. All right, guys, got that oil change done, no problem. Pretty easy one. The worst part was getting that bolt out because somebody had previously stripped it before. But, uh, you know, that's what, in, what you run into when you do this kind of stuff. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps somebody out there changing your oil. Even if you're just doing it for the first time, you know, it's great to get out there and do it. Um, so, anyways, guys, before we get out of here, go ahead and subscribe down below. Be sure to like this video if it helped you out. Comment. Let me know what you think. Until next time, guys, get out. Do it yourself.